I will quickly go through the work uh, streams or the, the, the topics and then rather focus a little bit on how we could proceed actually uh, with, uh, uh, with this document. So on common ground, uh, account, this is uh, an, an, an effort really to find the consensus on actually what topics and approaches are relevant for rural development or maybe for rural uh, transformation. The aim of the common ground uh, to become more effective by continu continuously working on a common understanding and by promoting advocacy and out outreach, knowledge management and innovation, as well as uh, aid, uh, aid effectiveness. And there are nine topics that, have, uh, that are, are now being uh, more or less promoted. I have actually forgotten the first one and I prepared my my um, presentation, actually the first one, is exactly aid and development effectiveness and results in R&D. So I've forgotten this, but it should be here. I'll go straight to the uh, second one. So the, the donor platform has, uh, is promoting, of course, all discussion also on climate change and resilience in agriculture with uh, subtopics such as climate smart agriculture. We have heard this uh, several times now renewable resources, policy dialogue, and climate finance, among others. But you will see the document, there is, of course, far more detail in the document. A, a, a second topic, gender equity and uh, youth. Uh, the, uh, the, the focus is on needs, rights, <laughs> access uh, to women and men, young people, danger of men working overhead, yes. And, of course, uh, key activities addressing uh, inequality, and we know also from the uh, SDG discussion about inequality is in the center of, uh, of attention now. Agricultural research for development, responding to different farming systems, uh, considering farmers' perspectives and needs, policy, uh, policy and research. So to summarize, and also many to listen to understand the different systems that, that exist and to uh, uh, help to improve them. Private sector development, uh, investing in smallholder agriculture, mainly mobilizing the private, uh, uh, private sector. We have heard this today several times. It is not easy to link up with the private sector, supporting conducive policy uh, frameworks, nutrition and agricultural development, uh, a, a topic that, had, that is quite active now, combination of nutrition specific and nutrition sensitive uh, paradigm scaling up nutrition uh, movement. Then livestock development and pastoralism it has uh, just come in on the platform very shortly. We had a statement today on this, sustainable solutions for systems integration and intensification, and also uh, policy intervention. The seven post-harvest losses and food waste, efficient value chains, involvement of private sector, and promoting evidence-based <coughs> strategies and the last, uh, land governance and water management. We have seen <coughs> land governance is quite active uh, and there has been uh, really progress at the international uh, arena. Access to land and water, promote rule and law, land ownership issues, promote strategies for sustainable land use. This one would actually be the ninth. Uh, here it is, it is the end. You see, it's a whole basket of topics and uh, we can observe here also on discussions that uh, we would probably uh, need and want further debate on actually the relevance on these and on, 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 the, on the detailed content of these. Tomorrow in the board meet we'll have time for that, but exactly also I think for this, uh, 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 this energy also shows that indeed at the later stage uh, a strategy workshop is needed to be very clear actually what is relevant and whether we have a chance to promote issues that are aligned to the global agenda, once we know the global, global agenda. Now in the future, just some ideas. Uh, the way forward, post-MDG. Uh, we, we have uh, we heard today many times that we have to, uh, to, to, to observe SDG strategy, uh, to, to, uh, to influence wherever possible, and also probably to align to this agenda once it is clear. In the, in the report of the UN last year in June, there's actually one goal, number six, 
which is called Improve Agricultural Systems and Raise Rural Prosperity, which is actually one of the areas that certainly this platform would have to look at very, uh, very closely. But of course, we do not yet know which ones are exactly then the goals that are being defined. But we for more or less can imagine what the content probably is in such a, in such a goal. Uh, so to continue focusing a few key strategic activities, such as uh, and policy advocacy, wherever we can, to influence uh, the, uh, the debate, uh, to work on knowledge management innovation, to benefit from each other. There is a need, actually, to really to get uh, the state-of-the-art knowledge from our, from our colleagues, and also maybe to organize some joint strategic activities in order to influence and to, to, uh, uh, to play an active, an active role. <coughs> Uh, concretely, this is uh, 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 to align to the SHG goals and topics, and then probably to organize a few events that actually help uh, us donors to really reach again a common ground on the topics that are relevant for the new agenda in order to have the biggest uh, effect or the biggest influence in the global, in the, uh, global discussion and also to uh, uh, to cooperate in areas where we can really make a difference when we work together to have more leverage and to have a, a common position and to avoid any uh, uh, duplication. So the aim should be to really have a joint strategy that is actually owned by all the members of the platform to be more effective. Now Switzerland is uh, very much interested and willing to host such, such an event whenever we, we agree to, uh, to have this, to have really uh, sufficient time to, to do the necessary thinking to come together and come to a joint, a joint uh, strategy and action plan for the future. Thank you.